Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Burkhan, Kadash, Shalom, Apostle, Elder Frank Millstone, Festation for pushing his word in truth and sincerity, more charity, and risking the lives and freedom. This is Brian, a guy who comes from the Great Millstone, Chicago Camp, coming at you with another lesson. No one's edifying. I'm going to get straight to it. This is 2 Thessalonians chapter 1, verse 6. Seeing it is a righteous thing with the Most High to recompense tribulation to them that trouble you. Man, oh man. If Esau had a debt to pay, man, he done wrote a check to his ass to not cash. All right? It's a righteous thing with the Most High. It is not an abomination, it's not frowned upon, it's not looked down upon. It's a righteous thing with the Most High to recompense tribulation to them that trouble you. What nation of people has been troubling another nation of people till this day? All right? And, and, and Jake is just completely lost, man. And, hey, man, is blind. I should say. Um, but A E has done a number on our people, and um continues to do a number on our people. We we are still in our captors' hands. All right. Captain's hands, man. It's Proverbs 11 and 1. It says, A false balance is abomination to the Lord, but a just weight is his delight. Excuse me. But, um, hey, man. <laughs> the Lord's all about balancing. To, for people to think that one nation of people is going to put his chosen people into slavery, into hardcore slavery, and, and into Oh man, to the extreme. Come on, man. That that will make the Lord out of balance. The Lord's not unrighteous, man. He's right. He is. He is righteous, man. And that's why Scripture says this. Let's get it. It's Revelation thirteen and nine. If any man have an ear, let him hear. He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. He that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. Here is the patience and the faith of the saints. And the saints are patient, faith, patient, patiently waiting, man. Alright? And that's balance. He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. He that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword, man. <laughs> we are still in our captive's hands, man. We are being slaughtered every day. Jake is being slaughtered in the streets every day. Jake is being hung in these courthouses every day. And getting two, three life years census, life, life censuses, man. You know, uh, with unrighteous decrees, man. And sometimes, hey, I'm, not saying, I'm not saying that these men are innocent. I'm not saying that these men are uh, But, hey, what I will say is this. This few men saying that, uh, in those jail cells, uh, through 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 uh crocodile tears, and unrighteous decrees, man, bullshit, all bullshit. But hey, man, Esau, he has to pay. He has to pay, man. In fact, Numbers thirty-five verse thirty-three it says, "So ye shall not pollute the land wherein ye are, for blood it defiles the land, and the land cannot be cleansed of the blood that is shed therein." But by the blood of him that shed it, who sh he, he shed a lot of blood, man, a lot of Israelite blood. Hey, uh, 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 America, which is Babylon, all right. Um, was built off the blood, sweat, and tears of the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, the children of the Lord, the Hebrew Israelites, man. Why do you think these people should, should we don't benefit from that? 
We don't have acres of land. We don't have property. We don't have nothing. He has a lot to pay for, man. All right? It's a balance. I'm going to end it off with Obadiah. Um, I'm sure on time. It says, Obadiah one and ten says, For thy violence against thy brother Jacob, shame shall cover thee, and thou shalt be cut off forever. It says, in the... All right, I guess start up. I'm just sorry. Uh, eight. It says, Shall I not in the day, said the Lord, even destroy the wise men out of Edom and understanding out of the mount of Esau, and thy mighty men, O Teman, shall be dismayed to the end that every one of the mount of Esau may be cut off by slaughter. For violence against thy brother Jacob, shame shall cover thee, and thou shalt be cut off forever. It says, In the day that thou stoodest on the other side, in the day that the strangers carried away captive his forces, and foreigners entered into his gates, and cast lots upon Jerusalem, but thou was as one of them. But thou shouldest not have looked on the day of thy brother in the day that he became a stranger. Neither shouldest thou have rejoiced over the children of Judah in the day of the destruction. Neither shouldest thou have spoken proudly in the day of distress. Hey, man, these. Hey, he got to pay. It says thou shouldest. I'm going to just keep reading. Like, yeah, it's like it. Verse 13. Found it. it says, Thou shouldest not have entered into the gate of my people in the day of their calamity. It says, Yeah, thou shouldest not have looked on their afflictions in the day of their calamity, nor have laid hands on their substance in the day of their calamity. Neither shouldest thou have stood. In the crossway to cut off those of his that did escape, neither shouldest thou have delivered up those of his that did remain in the day of distress. For the day of the Lord is near upon all the heathen. As thou hast done, it shall be done unto thee. That reward shall return upon thy own head. For as ye have drunk upon my holy mountain, so shall all the heathen drink continually. Yeah, they shall drink and they shall be, they shall swallow down. And they shall be as though they had not been. So the day of the Lord is near upon all the heathen. All right. He has a, 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 a lot to pay for. It's not only he. It's you heathens as well, man. All right. Because what has not taken part? Verse 4. What nation has not? It says, uh, verse 17 says, But upon my Mount Zion shall be deliverance. And there shall be holiness, and the house of Jacob shall possess the possessions, and the house of Jacob shall be a fire, and the house of Joseph a flame, and the house of Esau for stubble, and they shall kindle in them, and devour them, and there shall not be any remaining of the house of Esau, the Lord has spoken it. And they of the south shall possess the mount of Esau, and they of the plains, the Philistines, and they shall possess the fields of Ephraim, and the, Abel, and the fields of Samaria, and Benjamin shall possess uh, Gilead. Call her on like how about Shane outside, man. The Lord's gonna put these. <laughs> Matter of fact, this is this Psalms. Chapter 2, verse 8 says, Ask of me, and I shall give thee the heathen for thy inheritance, and the uttermost part of the earth for thy possession. Thou shalt break them with a rod of iron, thou shalt dash them in pieces like a potter's vessel. Hey Amen. We're going to rule. We're going to rule over these, these other nations, man, these other heathens, man. And righteousness. All right. Um. How long are y'all about to see me on the show? Eight.
this is it. Our salvation is nearer than we believe, man. We so about to be put to change and we better to be the law of soul. Call Lord Maya how about me all the time. If you think otherwise, hey, whether you believe it or not, Romans 3 and 3. Baba Ball, long as edifying lesson. Until next time, Shalom.